What the hell is going on, everybody? I know that's a very, very loaded question right now, um, which is all the more reason for us to talk about cool books that you can go pick up, check out, and enjoy. And this week, I've got a bunch for you. This is Pyramid Nights. Um, apparently, it's gotten around in the indie comic community that if you send me multiple books, I'll read them. And I did it. Uh, Gary Henderson here. He sent me the first four, and I, I think that might be all they've got right now, but he sent me the first four Pyramid Nights, and I read them. And, um, you know, the worst thing that you can ever hear from Chuck is, this book isn't for me. But, if I'm here talking about it, it means that it is, I do still find good in it, and I do feel like it is a good book. It, it just, again, it's not for me. So, Pyramid Nights, what the hell is it about? It's, um... It's about these creatures called the Hipponoids. And again, that's kind of where it comes in. I'm not usually uh, all about the animals, so to speak. It's about these creatures called the Hipponoids. And they, um, within them, they have a group of guardians called the Pyramid Knights. And they uh, guard the mystical pyramids. And so it, it's got that very, uh, uh, that Egyptian uh, mythology very much set into it. And there's a lot of it mentioned through the series so far. Uh, there's a lot of that going on. And of course, these creatures called the Baryans show up and attack them and whatnot. And as you can see, it's got a very like 1970s cartoon art style. That's another part of what just, it's not my thing. You know what I mean? I, I'm not a very nostalgic guy. Um, and so I, I kind of very much like the here and now and uh, even like where my art sentimentalities are concerned and whatnot. So that's just that's just me, you know what I mean? But if you do enjoy this kind of thing, I think you will like this. Uh, one thing I, I did notice about it and I really appreciate it. First off, you see this and, you know, it, it does kind of have like a, a basic look to it. But as they went on, they brought in a new penciler. I believe his name is uh, Savi Lim, and you can see there's a lot more. There's a lot more lines to it, a lot more um, shading done to it, and whatnot. And you know what? I gotta say, I applaud Gary for that because Gary in the first episode did it, or in the first uh, issue or two did everything, and then Savi came in and laid down the pencils, and you could really feel the professionalism, the growth of that of the art of that book, and. Um, I think it's important to know, you know, what we can do and what we can't and what will really add to the the beauty of what we're making. And so I think bringing in Savi was a really good idea. I really think that their art has, uh, has really added some depth to it, uh, made it a little more accessible to me um, personally, even just in the art style. Uh, so there's a lot of be Pyramid Nights. Um, like I said, there's a lot of the uh, mysticism and whatnot. There's all, also a lot of time travel. And you can tell, I mean, even when, by the time you end on the fourth book, there's some serious time travel -y stuff going on. You're like, oh, okay, cool. And as someone who is currently writing uh, a big time travel thing, P.S., check out Essence House, now on all of your podcasting sites. Um, but anyways... As someone who's doing a lot of time travel work, I really like what he's doing here. I think it's really cool. Um, he's playing with the ancient history of his worlds, his his universes and whatnot, because it's not just one planet. There's uh, a lots of different, I think like 12 different planets that they're talking about, or moons and whatnot. Uh, space is a big deal. Um, I mean, it just there's a lot going on, a lot of mythology to it. Um, it, it really does give you a lot of bang for your buck. So again... Um, I would say that this is good, you know, pretty much for all ages. They get close to swearing without doing it, you know. A son of a bleh, or, um, what did they say? You, uh, son of a chip, or something like that. A piece of chip, I don't remember what it is. It was bull chip, is what they said. They said bull chip. And I was like, oh, okay. So, I would say 10 to 12 and up, easily. Um... It's really good for that. I probably just, you know, not going to give it to little kids. But, you know, I'd say 10 and 12. 
and and all the way up anyone in that can enjoy it anyone certainly who enjoyed a lot of like the 70s um uh comics and whatnot definitely something that i think they would enjoy um my dog is kind of whining over here come here buddy um so yeah there you know what i like i said there was a lot going on here really enjoyed what he had going on um it's only like the even like if you look at the the cover there like it's it's only gotten better and and stronger as the series goes on which again i i applaud and i appreciate as far as gary's concerned so i i would say just keep making the those upgrades and keep it up and as a fan uh go check out pyramid nights uh i think i think you're going to i think you're going to have a really good time i actually don't have an awful lot to talk about with this one um it was just a really fun read um easy to read uh the books they were like obviously brand new like never touched cuz when i opened them like the pages you could feel the static and everything i was like whoa whoa cow all right cool so yeah man pair of midnights solid series i think if if it checks off if all of those uh, boxes or even a good chunk of those boxes are checked off for you that's one to go check out and that's what's up um now that we're heading towards the end of the episode and we're heading towards episode 50 we're so fucking close um i would love for you guys to uh keep subscribing keep liking liking the the page check it out share it with people we're gonna i'm doing something special for episode 50 i'm gonna do all of my special stuff in one episode why because i don't want to do extra work so i'm a little lazy and because I, I, I'm a busy dude, so I'd rather just do everything in one. So in episode 50, I'm going to be doing, like, I think I think the idea is about 10 different books that I'm going to be reviewing. All one minute, one minute interview, uh, little reviews. So I'm going to bang them out. I'm going to talk about them as quick as possible. I'm probably going to time myself and just have some fun and, and see how all that goes. And in that, we're going to do our giveaway. And uh, I'm going to be giving away a stash of books that I will send to one of you people. So when you guys check out episode 50, make sure to comment on it, like it and everything. And all, out of all the commenters, I'll pick one person to send that package of comics to. So, everybody, thank you so much. Love having you along. Please keep coming out. I've got even more tons of like, oh my gosh. I've got like a whole chunk of, of books here. I mean, just so much mail from so many people who have sent me books that I have to go through and I have to check out and get out to you guys and talk about. And that's not even showing you the digital stuff, which is impossible for me to do. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. A lot of love, as always. Peace, love, and comics. My name is Chuck, and I do give a fuck. Stay safe.